When you call your one-year-old by name once or twice, does the child respond? Scientists believe that may be an indicator for children who may later develop autism. It's one of several new studies out today that takes a look at how to identify these children sooner. Tracy Potts has our report. It's with bricks and blocks and clocks, come. There's such great joy with a boy like Kyle. Kyle Shipley is 11. Nine years ago, he was diagnosed with autism. Children like Kyle have difficulty communicating, socializing, and they exhibit repetitive behaviors. Now, scientists think they may be able to identify children with autism sooner. We as physicians in the whole medical community need to identify these children earlier. We need to have our schools provide the kinds of learning environments that's really going to allow these children to develop their fullest potential. A University of California study found three out of four infants who didn't respond to their names by age one were diagnosed with autism by age two. In another study, researchers at Vanderbilt report the younger siblings of children with autism scored slightly lower on developmental tests. We don't know if these differences are going to cascade into bigger problems in social and communication behavior later on, or whether they're, they're blips in development and will resolve completely without any intervention. Scientists do know, and so do parents, that raising a child with autism is expensive. We have to assume that he's not going to be able to live on his own. This is a frightening thought for parents who will have to support a child for that child's entire life. A Harvard researcher reports society's medical and non-medical costs, like lost productivity into adulthood, total more than $3 million over the lifetime of each person, and the health care portion of that is up 20%. I'm Tracy Potts, News 4. And there's a new resource today for parents of autistic children. The first national online autism registry was launched today to bring together parents and researchers struggling with questions about autism.